a brief history on window tax. Window tax was introduced in England and Wales in 1696 under King William III and was designed to impose tax relative to the prosperity of the taxpayer but without the controversy that then surrounded the idea of income tax. When the window tax was introduced it consisted of two parts, a flat rate house tax of two shillings per house and a variable tax for the number of windows above 10 windows in the house. Properties with between 10 and 20 windows paid a total of 4 shillings and those above 20 windows paid 8 shillings. The number of windows that incurred tax was changed to 7 in 1766 and 8 in 1825. The flat rate was changed to a variable rate dependent on the property value in 1778. People who were exempt from paying church or poor rates for reasons of poverty were exempt from the window tax. Window tax was relatively unintrusive and easy to assess. Certain rooms, particularly dairies, cheese rooms and milk houses, were exempt, providing they were clearly labelled and it was not uncommon to find the name of such rooms carved on the lintel. The bigger the house, the more windows it was likely to have and the more the tax the occupants would have to pay. Nevertheless, the tax was unpopular because it was seen by some as a tax on light and air. There was a strong agitation in England in favour of the abolition of the tax during the winter of 1850 to 1851 and it was accordingly repealed on the 24th of July 1851 and a tax on inhabited houses substituted. To avoid the tax, some houses from the period can be seen to have bricked up spaces ready to be glazed or reglazed at a later date.